Hey guys, it's Bobby Legs, and welcome to another episode of Bobby Legs Loves Watches. And today I'm going to review a watch from a German brand. That brand is Damasca, and the watch is a DS30. Now, a little over a year and a half ago, my buddy Ryan was like, Have you checked out German watches? And all I knew from German watches at the time were A. Lang and Zahn and Glazut's Original, brands that had watches that were priced way above what I was looking at. But I started to discover other German brands, like Zinn and Damasca. And Damasca is a made in German brand. And they started making watches under that name back in 1994. So we're not talking about a long heritage here, but they make some exceptional watches with great technology. And I really think for the price, punch above its weight. But before we get into the review of the DS30, please remember to like and subscribe and click that bell icon to get notifications every time I upload videos. I love making these videos and I hope you like them too. So let's get on with the review. So in this part of the video I typically give out the specs and I usually commit the specs to memory so I could just relay it to you in a conversational kind of smooth kind of way. However, there's so many things going on here with this watch, uh, so much to the specs that I had to write them down because I didn't want to miss out on telling you guys what you guys get for this watch for the price because um, it's a whole lot in my opinion. So you have a case diameter of 39 millimeters, an overall thickness of just under 10 millimeters at 9.95. The lug to lug is 46 and a half millimeters. Drilled hole lugs for easy strap and bracelet change. Lug width of 20 millimeters. Uh, it weighs around 57 grams without the strap. With the strap, I don't, I don't know how much it weighs, but it's not that much more. It's really very comfortable watch to wear, and, and I'll give you guys a wrist shot in a little bit. It is powered by the ETA 2824, which is a self-winding mechanical movement. 25 joules, 28,800 beats per hour. Shock proof according to DIN 8308, which I think is a German certification or measurement. Basically it means that it could survive a one meter drop to hardwood, the shock of it. It's anti-magnetic according to DIN 8309, which means that it must resist exposure to direct current magnetic field of 4,800 AMs. Uh, the dial, ocean blue dial, the hour markers and hands are coated with a special long-lasting luminous, luminous paint, Superluminova X1 GL C1 White 10. Now the case is the uh, really interesting part um, for me here. It's a high strength. It's a basically a U-boat um, steel, they call it, right? So this is the same uh, alloy uh, that they use in the construction of German submarines and Navy ships. So it's B-blasted submarine steel. And it's durable, highly scratch and corrosion resistant. Uh, flat sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating on both sides. A crystal gasket inside here that's resistant to UV radiation. Uh, solid screw back with O-ring. Viton, which is a it looks like a trademark gasket. And all the gaskets are made by Viton, um, which um, offers a premium chemical resistance, uh, which is superior to most other materials used in the watch industry, so so they say. Uh, permanent lubrication on the crown via lubrication cell, screw down crown, uh, tube screw, the tube is screwed in also for, in the case, for easy maintenance. Um, and then you have this blue cleather rubber strap um, and bead blasted um, steel in the buckle. Now, uh, let's just show you how to wind and uh, so I unwind you get the nice little pop pull out and you can change the date to the first position after the wind and then the last position to change the date and it does hack get okay, some wind and let's get it back in here so let me give you a loom shot and right uh, here I will do my best to give you guys a, a picture of of the loom uh, right here in the corner here. So like I said, this is a light watch. It's a super comfortable watch. I have six and three quarter inch wrists. And as you can see here, it's like the perfect, uh, um, you know, dimensions here for me. Um, you know, this is why I, I like my Tudor Black Bay. It's a 39 millimeter. Uh, uh, lug to lug is very similar. This is just a hair under 47. 
Um, so, and the thickness is only 10. I mean, this watch is super, super comfortable and the, and the strap is very, very comfortable too. The dial is this beautiful blue dial. You have the crosshairs there um, and it's so legible. Uh, that's one of my favorite things about this watch. One of my favorite things about my Zen is that these watches um, are very, very legible and I'm starting to appreciate that more and more. Uh, it's a quality that I look for. Uh, I don't need a hu you know a tremendously busy dial. Uh, sometimes just a three-hander uh, with a date or without a date is all that I need. You can feel the quality of this watch. Um, this German-made watch, the quality of the German watch, uh, not just in Damasco but in other brands, um, is amazing. Um, and I think you know this 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 watch MSRP's for one thousand three hundred. It is worth every single penny, um, especially with all that tech that you get with this watch. Uh, there's not nothing wrong with this watch. Is everything I love everything about it. I can't find any fault with it. It's my opinion. Uh, maybe it's because I'm in a honeymoon phase or in love. I'm trying to be objectionable as possible, but my tastes have developed in a certain way that this kind of hits the sweet spot for me. So, guys, I'd love to hear what you have to think about Damasco, if you have one. If you have any German watches, how do you feel about German watches? I feel that they're just as good or even better than their Swiss-made counterparts. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.